Hello friends, welcome back to Advanced Mathematics 2. Friends, in the last session we have discussed about Laplace transform, right? How we are going to define a Laplace transform mathematically? It means we can write down the definition of a Laplace transform in the form of integration limits 0 to infinity e raised to st f of t dt and uh, suppose if I want to calculate the Laplace transform of uh, any function I have to verify the sufficient condition then only I can uh, say that uh, a function is eligible for the Laplace transform and after that uh, uh, we have discussed about change of scale property of a Laplace transform and what is the first shifting property transform of uh, derivatives and uh, I think uh, yesterday uh, at the end of the session, I have given what do you mean by a periodic function and I think I have solved some examples about all those things. Is it clear? Right? So, I am going to repeat the definition of a periodic function. Is it clear? Right? A function f of t is said to be periodic with the period omega. If f of t plus n omega is equal to f of t, is it clear? So, n being any integer or we can say that a function is a periodic of its values repeat at regular intervals. Graphically, this means that if the graph of f is shifted horizontally by omega units, as clear, the new graph uh, is identical to the original. In this notation, uh, period means that for all t in the domain of that is f of t plus omega is equal to f of t. It means when you draw the graph of periodic function, so you will get a similar to original graph. Then uh, uh, this graph will move horizontally either side of the x axis or you can take t axis. The smallest positive constant omega for which this relationship holds for all values of t is called period of t. I will show you the graph. I hope uh, now you are observing uh, two graphs. One is a red color graph, another one is a blue color graph. So, red color graph is the original function sin t. That's clear. And sin of t plus some value is the blue color graph. I hope now you are observing uh, blue color graph is uh, moving uh, horizontally. That's clear. Left hand side uh, as well as uh, right hand uh, side. That is an example of uh, a periodic uh, function exactly in the similar way. Suppose, if they ask us to sketch the graph of the periodic function defined by f of t is equal to t minus n, right, where t lies between n and n plus 1 with the period 1. It means that you can replace n by 0. So, what you will get f of t is equal to t, is it clear, right. So, where t lies between n and n plus 1 means it lies between 0 and 1. I hope you are observing bar lines, red color bar lines, is it clear, right? Starting from origin, right? And it lies between 0 and 1, is it clear? It lies between 0 and 1. And similarly, second red color line is lies between 1 and 2, is it clear? And similarly, next uh, line is lies between 2 and 3. Is it clear? How it is possible in the given function you have to replace n by 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Is it clear? So, then you will get this type of graphs. Is it clear? Difference between first line and second line is 1. Similarly, difference between second and third line is also 1. It means period is 1. That line is shifting right on either side of the t axis. It is also an example of a periodic function. Right. So, another example may be in this form, write down a mathematical expression for the function whose graph is shown, is it clear? Right. So, why I am considering this type of example? Because, so once we are able to write down the mathematical expression of this type of graphs, then uh, concept will be very, very clear. That is why now we should practice how it is possible to write down the mathematical expression for this type of uh, graphs. Is it clear? Right? So, observe the graph, all the uh, color graph uh, looks like uh, similar. Is it clear? Right? So, when you observe a violet color graph, it is uh, passing through origin. Actually, it is containing uh, 
two straight lines one in between 0 to 1 is clear and 1 to 2 is a horizontal line, line corresponding to 1 on y axis or on f of t is clear. It means suppose if I want to define this graph mathematically I need two, two uh, intervals is clear. So, one is in between 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 is clear like that I can define a function in the following uh, form is clear right. So, we want to note down that uh, the interval over which the function represents itself sorry uh, repeats itself is 2 is clear. So, 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 it means period is 2 is clear right. So, it is then sufficient to describe the function over any interval of length 2 is clear. The simplest interval to take is 0 to 2 is clear. It means t lies between 0 and 2. We note in this example that a single formula is insufficient to describe the function for 0 is less than or equal to t is less than 2 since different behavior is exhibited in the two intervals namely 0 is less than or equal to t is less than 1 and 1 is less than or equal to t is strictly less than 2 is clear. For 0 is less than or equal to t is less than 1 it means interval is 0 to 1. The function is a ramp is clear with a slope 1 is clear. Now, what I have shown in the previous slide right uh, in between 0 and 1 that we that line we may call it as an ramp with a slope 1 passes through the origin is clear that is uh, it has an equation f of t is equal to t right for 1 is less than or equal to t is less than 2 the function value remains constant at 1. I hope now you are able to write down the function you observe therefore, this periodic function can be described by the expression f of t is equal to t where 0 is less than t is less than 1 is clear and f of t is equal to 1 and 1 is less than or equal to t is strictly less than 2 with the period 2 is clear. I hope just now you have observed a moving a similar type of curves it is coincides with the uh, existing curves is clear right. So, if you want to you can write down an individual uh, mathematical expression for each and every curve or you can write down an uh, general mathematical expression then you can use the slide. So, it will move on either uh, side of the t axis is it clear right. So, I wanted to give one more uh, similar type of uh, example and it is a very famous example right. So, sometimes they may give a graph like this write down a mathematical expression to describe the function whose graph is as follows is it clear. Now, observe the graph right. So, corresponding to 1 on f of t. So, small line segment is there and from 1 to 2 on the t axis again you can see the small line segment is clear. Suppose, if you copy these two line segment and if you paste is clear right on the uh, x y plane or f of t t plane is clear. I hope it repeats once again with the violet color and if you copy violet color graph once again I hope you can uh, see red color graph it repeats in the similar fashion is clear right. So, when you join 1 to 1 is clear 1 to 1 means say for example, on f of t 1 is there no from that line to uh, t axis 1 is there no if you join those two I hope it will form a square is clear right. So, now I want to write down the mathematical expression for uh, this uh, graph how I am going to uh, write down you will come to know. So, periodic function can be described by the expression f of t is equal to 1 because uh, it lies between uh, 0 and 1 if you write 0 uh, to 1. So, I hope uh, you will get uh, uh, a line segment as clear right. So, in between 1 and 2 it is 0 with the period 2 as clear right. So, you can uh, consider a uh, similar type of uh, example write down the mathematical expression to describe the function whose graph is as clear. I hope you are observing the uh, graph it is like a triangle as a clear right. So, from origin to 1 you observe the graph from origin to 1 blue color triangle is observed as a clear actually it is containing 
two line segments right so from 0 to 1 by 2 or 0 to 0 0.5 is one segment 0.5 to 1 is another segment is clear and similarly 1 to 1.5 is one line segment and 1.5 to 2 is another line segment is clear exactly in the similar way you can observe a violet color triangle from 2 to 2.5 2.5 to 3 is clear it means these graphs containing two line segments is clear when you consider either violet color or blue color is clear so blue color is repeating after uh, certain period is clear here what is the period period is 2 so now you want to write down mathematically how you are going to write down mathematically right you can write down in various forms f of t is equal to 2t where 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 1 by 2 is clear and another line segment can be write down 2 minus 2t between the interval 1 by 2 to 1 is clear and uh, one more triangle can be write down 2t minus 2 right so interval is 1 to 3 by 2 4 minus 2t 3 by 2 to 2 is clear and the last uh, uh, triangle can be write down 2t minus 4 interval is 2 to 5 by 2 6 minus 2t 5 by 2 to 3 right so i have written particular triangles is clear right so if you don't want to write uh, repeatedly you can write down uh, one general equation uh, right including n or any other constant uh, then you can vary n is clear i hope uh, uh, you can draw the triangles friends uh, so so just now we have discussed uh, examples about uh, periodic function now we want to uh, discuss one important property of uh, periodic uh, function is clear right so if uh, f of t is periodic with uh, period omega then we can prove that Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into omega in the interval 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t dt. Hence, evaluate where f of t plus 2 is equal to f of t and f of t is equal to 1, 0 is less than or equal to t is less than 1, 0, 1 is less than t is less than 2 it means first we want to prove left hand side is equal to right hand side then you want to use it as a formula to find out the laplace transform of the given function here what is the given function 1 to 0 between interval 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 is it clear it means they have defined a function in the interval 0 to 2 and they have given a function is a periodic function why f of t plus 2 is equal to f of t right we can say that uh, it is a periodic uh, function is it clear i hope now you are observing the square wave uh, graph is it clear right so you can find out the laplace transform of uh, square wave uh, graph is it clear now first we can prove left hand side is equal to uh, right hand side how we are going to prove it is very simple uh, you know the basic definition of uh, laplace uh, transform is it clear right so l of f of t is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt is it clear so this is the basic definition of laplace transform right so now i am going to split integration of 0 to infinity in the following form in the following form means i will rewrite it as integration of 0 to omega e raised to minus st f of t dt plus integration of omega to 2 omega e raised to minus s t f of t dt is it clear and uh, i hope you can expect a next term what is the next term if you want to you can write on integration of 2 omega to 3 omega e to the power minus s into t f of t dt and so on you can write on up to infinity is it clear right so now i am going to add all the terms sum of all the terms first term plus the second term third term and so on right so that is equal to what we will get you will get summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity integration of what is the lower limit n omega what is the upper limit n plus 1 omega e to the power minus st f of t dt is it clear 
right here i am going to use a method of substitution suppose if i put t is equal to n omega plus x and if i differentiate what you are observing a uh, red color letters as a clear right if i differentiate t is equal to n omega plus x what you will get dt is equal to dx i hope limits will change put t is equal to n omega what is the value of x n omega minus n omega it means you will get x is equal to 0 suppose if you put t is equal to n omega sorry n plus 1 into omega as a clear so what will get x is equal to omega as a clear and they have given a function is a periodic f of n omega plus x is equal to f of x right so i am going to implement in the equation i will rewrite above equation summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity limits from 0 to omega e to the power minus s into i will replace t by its value what is the value n omega plus x into f of n omega plus x into dx is it clear so that is equal to summation of 0 to infinity integration of 0 to omega e to the power i will multiply minus s into n omega is it clear into n into e to the power minus s into x integration of f of x dx here we want to integrate with respect to x is it clear that is why i can treat e to the power minus s into omega into n as a constant that is why i want to write down outside is it clear right so now i am going to write down l of f of t is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus s omega into n outside within the bracket i will write the remaining things what is the remaining things integration of 0 to omega e to the power minus s into x into f of x dx is it clear right so before integrating now i want to calculate so what is the value of summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus s into omega into n is it clear suppose if i replace n by 0 so what you will get i will get 1 because e to the power 0 is 1 right so if i replace n by 1 i hope i can obtain uh, e to the power minus s into omega plus e to the power minus times of 2 into s into omega plus e to the power minus times of 3 into s into omega and so on this is clear and uh, it can be written as 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into omega so you may ask how do we get 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into omega so because you know the geometric series right so a is the first term r is the second term r square is the third term and so on up to infinity it can be written as a divided by 1 minus r if modulus of r is less than 1 is it clear so using geometric series summation of e to the power minus s into omega into n can be write on 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into omega i will substitute in the above equation is it clear so therefore l of f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into omega is it clear within the bracket integration of 0 to omega e to the power minus s x f of x dx i have written as it is is it clear so that is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into omega integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t f of t dt is it clear so here x is a dummy variable t is a dummy variable i can change x to t is it clear i hope you will get the required equation right so that is the required equation so now i want to find out the laplace transform of a a square wave function here we have omega is equal to 2 it means uh, by considering omega is equal to 2 now i want to find out what is the laplace transform of the square wave function i hope you are observing the diagram that diagram we may call it as an a square wave function is it clear right so l of f of t it means laplace transform of f of t here our function is the square wave function that is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus 2 into yes because i have replaced omega by 2 
within the bracket integration of 0 to omega is 0 uh, omega can be replaced by 2 e to the power minus s t into f of t d t that is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus 2 into s integration of 0 to 1 because uh, I want to split uh, 0 to 2 to 2 parts. So, you can observe the graph as clear right first part is 0 to 1 as clear uh, I think blue color line and second part is 1 to 2 on the t axis as clear I want to integrate these two parts I can integrate the first part second part is 0 because t becomes 0 it is on t axis only. So, that is why so you can write down e to the power minus s t into 1 d t plus 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power 2 omega sorry 2 times of uh, s into integration of 1 to 2 e to the power minus s t 0 into t is it clear. So, automatically second term becomes 0 right. So, now I want to integrate only first part is it clear. So, that is why what I have written 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus 2 into s integration of 0 to 1 e to the power minus s t into 1 d t is it clear. I hope you can integrate e to the power minus s t with respect to t. So, treating s as the constant integration of e to the power minus s t is what e to the power minus s t divided by s. Now, I want to substitute the limits is it clear right. So, t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 1. So, what we will get 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus 2 into s e to the power minus s t divided by minus s with the limits t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 1. I hope I can obtain 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus 2 into s as clear. So, when I replace t by 1 I hope I can obtain e to the power minus s. Is clear. So, when I replace t by 0, it is e to the power 0 that is why I will get 1. It means numerator is e to the power minus s minus 1 whole divided by minus s. So, remaining part is simplification you can multiply 1 into e to the power a minus s minus 1 whole divided by minus s into 1 minus e to the power minus times of 2 into s. Is clear. The same thing can be written as a minus times of 1 minus e to the power minus s because you can take out a negative sign outside in numerator. Is clear. What is the denominator? I have written minus s into the bracket 1 minus e to the power minus s into the bracket 1 plus e to the power minus s. It is a uh, it is just like a, a, a square minus b square. Is clear. It can be written as a plus b a minus b. Right. So, one term will cancel with the numerator because numerator and denominator containing the same factor as clear. You can write down the remaining thing. What is the remaining thing? 1 divided by s into 1 plus e to the power minus s is the Laplace transform of the square wave function. How we have calculated using the previous property as clear. Right. So, if you want you can draw the diagram of uh, square wave function as clear. Now, I think uh, in the last one or uh, in the last session I have given how do we draw the uh, graph of a Laplace transform using uh, an uh, software like GeoGebra. As clear, simply you want to type the square wave function. I hope you can obtain the corresponding Laplace transform of the given function or square wave function. As clear, I hope uh, now we have discussed about. Uh, uh, periodic function and the property of a periodic function and we have discussed one example about a periodic function as clear. So, now I want to continue uh, in the similar way and uh, I can introduce one more important concept in Laplace transform namely uh, unit step function right. So, friends you may ask what do you mean by an unit step function as clear right. The unit step function also called Heaviside's unit step right. So, then you may ask what do you mean by Heaviside's I hope uh, in the present slide you are observing uh, one photograph is clear right. So, what you are observing uh, his name is uh, Heaviside's 
he introduced uh, this function first time now onwards we call it as an unit step function is it clear how you are going to define a unit step function it is very simple you can write down u of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0 so you may ask what do you mean by t t is a variable here uh, we will call it as an time right when time is less than 0 what is the value of the function is 0 when t is greater than or equal to 0 what is the value of the function it is 1 only is it clear right so this unit step function is a curve which has value 0 at all points to the left of the origin and equal to 1 on the right of the origin it means that when we draw the graph of u of t as a clear right so i hope you can draw y axis and x axis as a clear left hand side the value of the function becomes 0 right hand side the value of the function is 1 is it clear right so it means it maintain the height 1 unit that's why it is called an unit step function is it clear observe that at t is equal to a a is what a is some constant a step of unit height is formed hence the name unit step function right so we can use various notations to represent unit step function is it clear other notations to represent unit step functions are h of t you can use capital h of t or capital h of t minus a or u suffix 0 of t or u suffix small a of t so these are the few notations of unit step functions suppose if you want to denote an unit step function right so you can denote in the following form as a class just a minute so once you are able to denote an unit step function right Okay, so graph of unit step function. Now, as I have mentioned, when t is less than zero, you can observe this graph. T is less than zero, it is zero. When t is greater than zero, t is greater than zero means time is greater than zero. I hope you can observe. Uh, it is maintaining a red color line corresponding to one on f of t. That is called an unit step function. Is it clear? Right? Now, uh, mathematically, you can. Uh, define u of t I have already defined so exactly in the similar way you can define a displaced unit step function how we are going to denote displaced unit step function u of t minus a the displaced unit step function u of t minus a is defined as u of t is equal to 0 when t is less than a a is what a is some constant is it clear or u of t is equal to 1 when t is greater than or equal to a where a is greater than or equal to 0 right the displaced unit step function u of t minus a represents curve u of t which is displaced or translated or sometimes you can say that shifted a distance a units to the right of t axis as clear on the t axis suppose if you give uh, a is equal to 1 it will shift 0 to 1 suppose if you give a is equal to 2 then it will shift 0 to 2 if you if i give a is equal to small sorry small a is equal to 4 then curve will shift 0 to 4 so like that uh, it will shift that's clear right so when you practice this type of graphs i hope very easily uh, the concept of unit step function will be understood that's clear right so for example sketch u of t minus 3 u of t 6 times of uh, it is u of t minus 2 that's clear right now first one u of t minus 3 just now i have mentioned uh, we want to shift the curve right uh, when uh, the value of a is 3 
is it clear right so it is as good as u of t minus a right i hope you are observing uh, unit step function is shifted what i have written now with the violet color u of t minus 3 is it clear right it is shifted from 0 to 3 it means uh, up to uh, 3 it is 0 3 onwards uh, it is uh, 1 it is maintaining uh, height with uh, 1 unit is it clear now exactly uh, in the similar way or before that it is uh, like a switch i can uh, use one more word instead of uh, uh, reading it as a uh, u of t minus 3 i may call it as an uh, it is uh, uh, like a switch right electric switch if t is less than 3 it is off when t is greater than or equal to 3 it is on is it clear right the function will work like a on and off is it clear no exactly in the similar way you can draw the graph of u of t it is as good as a unit step function when t is less than 0 so it is 0 when t is greater than or equal to 0 then you will get the corresponding uh, curve is it clear? and it is denoted by so u of t right now exactly in the similar way now you can draw the curve of 6 times of actually it should be u of t minus 2 not uh, i think it is printed uh, 6 times of t i uh, t minus 2 it is not uh, uh, 6 into t minus 2 actually it should be 6 times of u of t minus 2 is it clear what you are observing in uh, violet color it is correct is it clear right so it means uh, you can draw the curve u of t minus 2 t minus 2 means uh, it is shifted to 2 is it clear right so when we are multiplying with 6 no that's why it is uh, maintaining the height 6 units instead of uh, 1 unit it is maintaining the height 6 units that can be observed suppose if you multiply by 5 you know it is maintaining the height 5 units if i multiply by 4 it is maintaining the height 4 units and so on is it clear right suppose uh, if i want to write an uh, uh, example like this, this is clear. sketch edge chart program 20 into u of t minus 3 this is clear or suppose if i want to draw the graph of uh, mat diff 2 into u of t how we are going to define these two live examples this is clear edge chart p20 means edge chart program 20 into u of t minus 3 mat diff means mathematics advanced mathematics for diploma 2 into u of t how we are going to write down mathematically it is a very simple so you can write down adjusat p 20 into u of t is it clear right this is equal to 0 when t is less than 3 is it clear adjusat p 20 when t is greater than or equal to 3 here t means time it means before 3 o'clock is it clear adjusat program 20 is off you cannot get the signals as clear at time t is equal to 3 i hope you can receive the signals as clear right namely as you shot p 20 exactly in the similar way suppose if you are planning to watch uh, mathematics advanced mathematics 2 lecture as clear how we are going to define mat diff 2 into u of t is equal to 0 at time t is less than 3 it means it is not possible to see when the time is less than is clear so you can see the lecture a uh, mat dip 2 at t is equal to 3 is clear right so it is an uh, analogy analogy means uh, no, you can compare is clear instead of writing uh, edge short p20 or mat dip 20 i can write on a function is clear you can remove edge short p20 and mat dip 2 right then you can write on any function what i have written in this slide f of t into u of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 3 f of t when t is greater than or equal to 3 so like that you can write down is it clear and i am planning to give one more live example is it clear right separate example uh, if you want to uh, listen a radio it means uh, if i want to on a radio at time t is equal to 1 pm is it clear right and similarly i want to on a television at a t is equal to or at a time is equal to 3 o'clock is it clear i want to on a computer at a time t is equal to 4 o'clock so how we are going to write down uh, this situation uh, using a unit step function 
is it clear? So, what we are observing with black color a statement is it clear? So, radio into u of t minus 1 it is understood that so radio will on at time t is equal to 1 plus television or TV into u of t minus 3 means at 3 o'clock television will on plus computer into u of t minus 4 at 4 o'clock computer will on as clear how we are going to represent in the form of a function as clear right so you can write down you can take any general function say g of t is equal to 0 at t is less than 1 it means if time is less than 1 radio is off right television is also off computer is also off as clear right so at time is equal to 1 radio will on in between 1 pm and 3 pm as clear and similarly radio plus tv will on in between 3 and 4 pm as clear and uh, a last one is uh, radio plus tv plus computer will on at t is equal to 4 on words as clear so like that uh, you can uh, uh, define as clear right so i want to extend the same example as clear so i want to on radio at t is equal to 1 i want to off a radio on tv at t is equal to 3 why i want to of radio because uh, it is a national waste i i don't want to waste the power as clear and uh, we can't uh, use all the three equipments at a time as clear so that's why i can rewrite the above example in this form i want to repeat once again i want to on radio only at t is equal to 1 and i want to off radio on tv at time t is equal to 3 as clear again i want to off tv at uh, 4 o'clock uh, and on computer is it clear so how i am going to write down uh, using a uh, unit stuff uh, function is it clear so there are two methods method one is uh, radio into the bracket u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 3 suppose if you write like this u of t minus 1 it means uh, at 1 o'clock uh, radio will on minus u of t minus 3 means uh, automatically it will off at 3 o'clock is it clear plus tv into u of t minus 3 right it means television will on at 3 o'clock minus u of t minus 4 means at 4 o'clock television will off it means we want to kill the television signals at time t is equal to 4 o'clock plus i want to on computer at t is equal to 4 how we are going to write on computer u of t minus 4 is it clear so this is a uh, one method right so we can write on the same thing uh, by using uh, another method is it clear so in method 1 some common uh, unit step functions are there namely u of t minus 3 u of t minus 4 is it clear right instead of uh, uh, writing repeatedly so you can use the method number 2 is it clear right so radio into u of t minus 1 it means uh, radio will on at uh, time t is equal to 1 is it clear plus tv minus radio tv will on radio will off at time t is equal to 3 that's why i have written into the bracket u of t minus 3 with the red color plus computer minus tv within the bracket computer will on tv will off at time t is equal to 4 is it clear again it is an analogy right so you can replace radio and television computer by any three functions as clear so for example radio can be replaced by f1t at t is equal to 1 as clear and television can be written as f2t at t is equal to 3 computer by f3 as clear so like that you can define f1 f2 f3 it means a single function can be split into three parts is it clear it means uh, more than uh, one part right so unit stuff function u of t or displaced function u of t minus a is it clear or extensively used to represent a portion of the curve of the function f of t or explained in the following cases it means uh, a unit step function can be write down in three different forms is it clear right so say for example they have given f of t now i want to multiply by an unit step function what is the resultant function 
is it clear? So, f of t is multiplied by unit step function u of t. The resultant function f of t into u of t will represent the part of the function f of t on the right of the origin. The part of f of t on the left of the origin being cut off. It means when it is for t is less than 0. It means or when t is less than 0, left hand side curve is not visible. Only right hand side curve is visible. Is it clear? Suppose I can demonstrate y is equal to sin t into u of t. They have given sin t into u of t. Is it clear? Or they may ask us to sketch y is equal to f of t is equal to sin t. I hope you are observing the sine curve, is clear? red color curve and unit step function. Is clear? I am going to multiply these two curves. Then what is the resultant curve? I hope you cannot see the left hand side curve. Is clear? How you are going to write down mathematically sin t into u of t is equal to 0 when time is less than 0. That is equal to sin t when t is greater than or equal to 0. You observe the curve left hand side uh, sin curve is not visible. It means it becomes 0. Is it clear? A right hand side curve is only visible. Is it clear? So, this is one type of a uh, unit step uh, function. Right? So, exactly in the similar way, sometimes uh, if they ask us to calculate or if they ask us to uh, draw the graph of f of t into u of t minus a. u of t minus a means a displaced unit step function will represent the part of the function f of t on the right of t is equal to a. The part of the function f of t on the left of the t is equal to a cut off. Is it clear? Right? So, you can see both of the graphs. One is a unit displaced function. It is varying. I have given some values for a that is why curve is moving on either side. Is it clear? And y of t plus 1 a straight line passing through the 1. When I multiply these two graphs, what I can obtain? I can obtain the curve after the 2 time uh, t is equal to 2. Is it clear? Right? How we are going to define mathematically u of t minus 2 into t plus 1 is equal to 0 when t is less than 0. Is it clear? It means when t is less than 2, graph is not visible. Is it clear? When t is greater than or equal to 2, then it is visible. Is it clear? So, that can be observed. Okay. Exactly in the similar way, sometimes they may ask us to draw the graph of sin t into u of t minus pi. Is it clear? Right? So, again uh, you can draw the displaced function u of t minus pi. Is it clear? And I have also drawn sin t curve. Now, I want to multiply these two curves. Is it clear? Right? So, what is the uh, resultant uh, function? Resultant function can be read on u of t minus a represents on switch at t is equal to pi. It means uh, at t is equal to 5 curve is visible. Is it clear? Less than phi curve is not visible. So, mathematically you can write on sin t into u of t minus pi is equal to 0 when t is less than phi. Is it clear? So, that is equal to sin t when t is greater than or equal to pi. Right? So, you can observe the graph on the t axis when the value of t is less than pi. You can observe at t is equal to 0, at t is equal to pi by 2 and up to pi. Right? So, curve is not visible. Is it clear? Right? Uh, it is on the t axis. After pi, I hope you can observe the sin curve. That is the resultant function. You can take one more example. Say for example, y is equal to t square. I want to draw the curve of t square into u of t minus 1. Is it clear? Again t minus 1 is a unit displaced function. Is it clear? Right? So, you can you can draw the graph of y is equal to t square. I hope we have uh, obtained a red color graph. Multiply these two graphs. What is the resultant graph? Is it clear? Right? So, u of t minus 1 represents on switch at t is equal to 1. It means at time t is equal to 1, so it will on, otherwise it will be off. That is why mathematically you can write on t square into u of t minus 1 
that is equal to 0 when t is less than 1 or t square when t is greater than or equal to 2. Observe the graph on t axis when t is less than 1 curve is not visible is it clear when t is greater than uh, part of the t square curve is visible is it clear that can be observed from the graph right or I can demonstrate sketch y is equal to t minus 2 into t minus 2 actually what do you mean by minus 2 is it clear either in t minus 2 or u of t minus 2 I can just say that it is a shift of 2 units on the right hand side is it clear suppose if I write t minus 2 curve will shift 2 units to the right hand side on the t axis suppose if I write t minus 3 is it clear so what do you mean by t minus 3 curve will shift 3 units on the right hand side either it may be t minus 2 or u of t minus 2 t minus 3 or u of t minus 3 according to that curve will shift either 2 units or 3 units what we will write original function is t into u of t is it clear All right so here it is given that y is equal to t minus 2 u of t minus 2 now first we can sketch the graph of y is equal to as clear I hope you can observe the first curve a straight line passing through the origin as clear what is the second step translate y is equal to f of t is equal to t two units to the right hand side as clear you can observe the second graph right t axis f of t axis and you can observe the straight line u u of t minus 2 into t minus 2 it is shifted from origin to 2 units is it clear right so suppose if you want to write down mathematically you can write down t minus 2 into u of t minus 2 right suppose if you want to sketch y is equal to sin t into t minus phi into u of t minus phi is it clear instead of 2 here i have considered phi so sin curve graph we are already familiar it is shifted from 0 to pi as clear right so what you are observing shifted by pi units as clear original curve is a sin t into u of t right so suppose so if you want to sketch t minus 2 whole square into u of t minus 1 first you can draw the curve of t minus 1 whole square then u of t minus 1 t minus 1 whole square means the original curve is a t square is it clear and that curve will shift 1 unit because we have written t minus 1 whole square into u of t minus 1 you can observe the second curve it is shifted from 0 to 1 is it clear on the t axis right suppose uh, the portion of the curve third type of unit step function is uh, the portion of the curve f of t lying between a and b if you want to visit f of t in between a and b where a and b are what a and b are some constants how we are going to write down u of t minus 2 minus u of t minus 4 is equal to 0 when t is less than 2 is equal to 1 in between 2 and 4 is equal to 0 when t is greater than 4 i hope you can observe the curve u of t minus 2 u of t minus 4 is visible other part is not visible as clear sometimes they may ask us to sketch sin t u of t minus 2 u of t minus 4 it can be write down 0 when t is less than 2 sin t between 2 to 4 observe the curve it is a visible only 2 to 4 as clear right so friends exactly in the similar way the curve is visible in between 2 and uh, 4 as clear right here curve is visible in between 0 to pi by 2 right now i hope you can practice like this you can draw any curve curve is visible in between 1 and 2 is it clear right so i have defined all the types of um, unit step functions is it clear so now you can find out the laplace transform of unit step function l of u of t is equal to you can use the basic definition replace u of t by 1 i hope you'll get 1 by yes is it clear or laplace transform of unit displaced function u of t minus a 
0 to infinity can be written as a, so 0 to a, a to infinity, first part is 0, second part is 1, again you can integrate, I hope you will get e to the power minus a s by s, this is clear, right. And uh, third one is uh, second si shifting property, second shifting property means uh, L of f of t is equal to f of s, this is clear, right. So, u of t minus a into f of t minus a is equal to e to the power minus a s f of uh, s, right. It can be verified, uh, so by using the uh, basic uh, definition, is it clear? Now, you can uh, find out uh, the Laplace transform of a uh, unit stuff uh, function, is it clear? Right? Or uh, f 1 t, f 2 t, how uh, they have defined f 1 and f 2 t on the basis of f 1 and f 2 t. So, you can uh, express in the form of uh, unit stuff function, what I have explained in case of uh, radio, television and computer, exactly in the similar way you can write down in this form. Then uh, it may be two parts or it may be more than uh, two parts, it can be expressed uh, in the similar way, right. So, now you can find out uh, the Laplace transform of uh, uh, unit step function, is it clear? Sin t u of t minus 4, right. So, I hope uh, you will get the solution or the given function may be in this form, f 1 t is t square, f 2 t is uh, 4 t, is it clear, right. So, first you want to express in terms of unit step function, then you will get the Laplace transform of each function using the formula, you can find out the solution. So, what you are uh, observing in the uh, last uh, session. Friends, I take this opportunity to thank the uh, VTU authorities for giving me an uh, opportunity to learn a lot of uh, things. I also thank uh, Mr. Uh, Ravi and uh, other uh, technical persons. So, thank you, thank you very much.